Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will be installing the trust certificate from the Zap application to our browser and further we will be looking at the interception option by which we can intercept the request from the browser. Okay. So to first get the trust certificate, click on the tools, go to options and look for dynamic SSL certificates. Click on the dynamic SSL certificates. Now click on generate. Click on yes. And save this certificate. You can see our certificate has been successfully saved on the desktop. Click on OK. So now next thing. We will be installing this certificate on our browser. Okay. So open your open your browser. So I have already opened the preferences. You can simply go to these three lines in the corner and uh, click the preferences and uh, scroll. Uh, sorry. Uh, select the privacy and security. Scroll down and look for the certificate. So under the certificates, click on the view certificates, click on import and from the desktop select the certificate certification file we have just downloaded. Now select this both the option, click on OK and our uh, Certificate has been successfully imported. To check, search for OWEPS. Okay. Okay. So you can see OWEPS root certificate, and our cert certificate has been successfully imported to the browser. Now click on OK. Now you need to change a small thing from the proxy. Go to general, scroll down to the networks proxy and click on settings. Click on manual proxy and you will find the option that use this proxy server for all the protocols. Okay. As we have installed the SSL proxy certificate. Okay. So we need to select this option. Okay. If you will not do this task, then you will get an error while opening the zap application that the proxy is refusing the request. Okay. So you need to do this step. Okay. So finally, we have selected the manual proxy and we have a uh, tick mark this option. That's it. Now we will be intercepting the request from the browser. But first, let us look at the interception option. If we look at the second line, which contains all the tab, uh, tab view options, you will find a uh, round button which is in green. This button in green indicates that interception is off and all the requests coming from the browser are allowed to pass. Okay. If we open a website inside a browser, You can see the website has been successfully loaded and if we look at the applic uh, zap application you can see that the domain has uh, the all the requests coming from this website has been captured here and they are allowed to pass okay so basically there are three options okay uh, one is the round button uh, another is the play it's like a music player options like uh, uh, play and pause and the play okay so if you need to intercept a request like uh, we get the post request so we need to change uh, we, we need to modify the request so if we need to intercept this uh, request just uh, simply click on the green button and it will turn into red red indicates that interception is on and 
uh, request coming from the browser will be blocked here okay if uh, let me search here say hello okay so it's not visible but you can see i have typed the hello and click on the go button so as you can see the zap application has been popped up and the request has been successfully blocked here so that we can or we can say the intercepted here we can change the parameter so uh, you can see the blue and green are the parameters going for the post request in addition i would like to add that you can change the style okay from here you get the another style it looks like this but uh, i would prefer the default one i will change hello one two three four five okay and simply click on the third option which looks like a play button that means it will allow all the rest of the coming request to pass okay that means the interception is off if you look at the web application a uh, website we can see our modification has been successfully implemented and the request has been passed with the modification you can see that hello one two three four here okay so this was this was for the interception now again if you want to intercept the request one by one then what you can do i can say let us again intercept the request okay uh, let me turn on the interception so it's in green if uh, i will click it will turn red okay that means that the interception is on now i will simply search for test again it's uh, intercepting the request okay let me turn it on again and test again or anything else okay let me click on the go and you can see it has let's see okay so it has already intercepted a request so what if you want to pass the upcoming uh, the request which are coming after the our main request uh, you want to intercept uh, accept all the request one by one then you can uh, click on the second option that is this one okay what it will do it will pass the request all the requests which are coming from the browser one by one okay so here is the uh, request we have captured if we click on this it will pass that request and uh, again intercept the coming request okay like you have seen and it will show the what the response it has got again if we click on this button it will intercept the coming request and next it will show the response again so it's it is blocking all the requests one by one right now if you want to simply pass on uh, you have modified the request and simply pass on the request then you can simply uh, click on the third option that is uh, like a play button uh, what it will do it will uh, turn off the interception and uh, will allow the request to pass simply like this so this was it for this video we have installed the certification and also we have looked at the interception options